With the new V6 Milwaukee bit holders, I've introduced the narrow bit holders that fit into these cases versus the ones I had before, which were the long cases. I have also, a little bit hard to see here, I've also chamfered this edge of the peg so that it fits into these cases a lot easier. I won't do that right now. And it also, when you're printing, it means that you don't need any sort of support and that peg will come out perfect. Now let's take a look at the tall bit holder first. So this is the older version and see how that bit wiggles around in there. The new version, I've lowered that spring so it matches exactly with that indentation so it doesn't wiggle nearly as much. And that's pretty much it on the tall bit holders. Now for the short bit holders, I've changed the way that the spring works. And the reasoning for this is you want this indent or this ball detent to go into this indent and you want it to be relaxed. Because what happens in the old ones is, say this spring is sprung and you heat it up like in a hot garage or a hot car, the spring stays sprung and then it doesn't hold the bit anymore. So the problem is, is not all bits have the indentation or even in the same place. So I've had to make a compromise. So what I'd, I've done is the Milwaukee and the Makita bits, you know, have a shorter shaft there. DeWalt bits have a little bit longer shaft there. So I've raised that ball up so it fits most of the bits and the Milwaukee and the Makita are just going to rattle a bit, a little bit, but they're held in pretty good. The last thing I've done, oops, stamp the version on it so you know what version you're getting and put my call sign. <laughs> 